Being Canon's first full frame mirrorless camera, I was nervous when I went to go buy it. I was like, hmm, am I making the wrong decision? Should I just wait? And literally everybody on YouTube, except Peter McKinnon, was telling everybody, hey, this camera's not up to specs. Hey, specs. Hey, look at the, what about, what about the dual SD card slots? And I get it, for nearly $3,000 at the time, that is not a cheap camera, but someone's gonna buy it. And it was me. And once I started to use it, it felt like the world changed. Cause I went from this, the Canon SL1. This is alongside the EOS M50. So you kind of get a feel, imagine it without the battery pack. But within the palm of my hands, I knew I was led in a good direction. And it did. My first photo shoot went swimmingly. Look at it. So this is the Canon EOS R paired with a 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. That's right. The nifty 50 is what I use for these photos. I knew within myself it was time to upgrade because I used this camera to its max potential. And that's kind of when you want to upgrade is when you say, hey, I've, I'm done with this. But with that 50 millimeter 1.8, the lens that everybody and their mom has had, if you've had a Canon camera, I felt like I could do so many things, like I could rule the world. I knew the boundary had been crossed and I started getting comfortable with the camera, which is a really good sign because consistency is key. When using this camera, I know exactly what to expect. As I progressed, started doing more photo shoots and being something of an artist myself, I decided to challenge myself with this. So I created this photo. This was insane to me and having a roughly 30 megapixel sensor meant I get to edit these photos how I want them, which is actually gonna be reason number one. For the price, this offers you a great amount of megapixels, allowing a high resolution image, allowing you to really get in depth with your editing. All I did in Lightroom was grab the green colors, use the slider, moved them over, kept doing that a couple more times, and I had this image. And then I photoshopped it a bunch with the leaves and stuff, but that really gave me an idea on how much I could actually do with the image. Whenever you're on a photo shoot and somebody has acne and they're concerned about it, oh, they feel uncomfortable, I could just say, hey, I can fix that for you. I got you. Somebody has a smudge on their shirt. I got you. Hey, I just got into an accident. Can you fix a dent in my car? I could do my best, but I probably can. All right, next reason, watch this. Dual pixel autofocus. Canon has some of the best autofocus in the game and this camera proved it to me. Whenever I am taking a video just like this, it can track my face very, very well and quickly. Especially the eye tracking and autofocus, I do not have to worry about it missing focus like on a traditional DSLR. Another thing I love about this camera is actually going to be the size. The camera is not too big nor not too small. The camera fits pretty well in my medium sized hands. I, If you wear latex gloves, I am a medium to large to put that into perspective. If you don't wear latex gloves, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about right now. The way they sized this camera made it feel like they really cared about the hobbyist as well as the professionals. Even with a somewhat large lens like the 70 to 200, I'm still comfortable wearing it. Obviously, if I'm on a wedding shoot for a good eight to 10 hours, then of course it's gonna get a little bit heavy, but it's the price you pay for artwork, you know? Now we all know the Canon EOS R takes the RF lenses, but with this adapter, changed the game for me. As I said earlier, I used the Nifty 50 with this, but I did have to use the adapter. This adapter works very well. I have yet to have any hiccups with it. It is very well built, so attaching any EF or EFS lenses has worked very well for me. Now that we're actually holding the camera, we could talk about the menu UI. If you've ever used a Canon camera before, you know that the menu and the interface is very user friendly. Whether you are trying to format your card or clean your sensor, whatever you need to do, it is very simple and Canon makes it very easy for even a beginner to use this camera. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I've been making this video for about three days and it's just not working. 
I'm just it was stuck on ideas. Well, what else is good about the camera? Have you talked about the battery life at all? How good it is? Yeah, you're right. I could talk about that. I'm gonna be honest, I get about three to four hours when I'm doing photo shoots. I'm constantly turning off the camera just in case. But there's gotta be something else. Like what stands out with this camera? What's, what's the... The webcam. The camera can literally be used as a webcam. You know what, Eddie? This is getting really tiring. I'm sorry. Having to give you ideas, having to give you everything out of my brain, and you can't even Please. let me out. Because I'm starting to think I need to take control. Kid should have known better. That EOS R has full webcam support. The thing I found was the Elgato Cam Link. Plug this into my computer, send a wire to that to my camera, and screen record the camera. Who would have known? Another reason is the added headphone and microphone jack. It is very easy to use and easy to reach. Literally in between filming this, I literally got a bad sore throat. I think like a cold or something. Sorry if I sound kind of weird, but that's where I'm at right now. This lens, the 24 to 105, I always forget the millimeters. Well, there's something wrong with me because I'll pick up the lens and I'll be like, I know what it does. But then you ask me the millimeters, I'll be like, okay, I know it's 24, but like... But dude, like, I don't know what the other number is, dude. Like, bro. And that's fine. I know how to use the gear for the most part. This lens, I use a little bit less. I normally use this lens during my water mist photo shoots. Anything when I'm using a flash, I usually use this because it allows me to zoom in. Anytime I use my newer Vision 4, which is the portable strobe that I have, I'm still honestly getting used to using a strobe. 24 seven. But since I used to work at a studio, using a strobe was like the only option. And it was crazy. I loved using it. And that's how I got a lot of this type of work done. Here's a photo. Here's a photo. Here's one more photo. But yeah, photo fam, this camera is amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. Obviously, this is the mid-grade in terms of Canon cameras. This is considered a prosumer, as my art teacher used to call it. So it's in between the consumer cameras, like the T7, the US M50, versus the big boys like the Canon EOS R5 and any big professional camera like that, this is in the middle. This is a mid-grade. I cannot recommend this enough, PhotoFam, and I appreciate y'all for watching. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate y'all so much. Take it easy, PhotoFam. I will catch y'all in the next video whenever that is. PhotoFam, creativity without judgment. That's us. Bye bye -oh. Time and time again. We prove to ourselves that with unity comes prosperity. There are those who will judge, criticize, and give a dislike to what you create. To overcome the naysayers and create what represents you gives the world an endless amount of perspectives. Creativity without judgment. Photo fam.